Does anyone feel like Fortnite is dying out? Is there any possible way to save the game? Today we're going to take a look at 10 ideas that could save Fortnite from the brink of death. Will Epic hear our call to action? We'll be covering live events, animal AI, weapons, secrets, and more. But before we get into it, make sure to give the video a like and hit that subscribe button to help spread the word. Only 24.5% of our viewers are subscribed and we're on a mission to get that number through the roof. And if you're excited about the new Neymar Jr. skin, stick around until the end of the video to hear news about another pro athlete headed to the battlefield. This is Newscape Games, your source for Fortnite news, leaks, ideas, and theories. Come on, let's save the island. King Kong vs. Godzilla event. We'll be honest, we would love for Epic to cap off Chapter 2 Season 6 with the most exciting event yet. King Kong vs. Godzilla. After witnessing the colossal forces of the Mecha and the monster duke it out in the final showdown of Season 9, we're hungry for more fights between giants. Though the release of the Godzilla vs. Kong movie has already passed, we've only become more amped up to see these guys fight each other on the island. Godzilla would rise out of the ocean already agitated, and King Kong would ditch his constant pursuit of Peely to go and meet his nemesis. The battle would begin near the spire, and the bloody brawl would surely desecrate surrounding areas like bony burbs, only to end with one true victor. Plus, a stellar event such as this would surely keep players coming back to Fortnite through the end of Season 6 and into Season 7. What do you guys think? Who would win? This idea has received a lot of positive reception from fans across the world, so leave us a comment down below with what you think. Let's check out another idea. More secrets and hints. One of our favorite teasers in recent memory was the unhatched dinosaurs at the beginning of Season 6. It was a good move on Epic to wait to release raptors onto the island so that players could warm up to taming animals with chickens, boars, and wolves first. We would love to see more secrets and hints hidden across the map so that Fortnite always seemed like a continuous easter egg hunt. Chapter 2 Season 2 was filled with all kinds of secret stuff like teasers for Midas, Brutus, Tiantina, and Mousels. The season literally had the theme Top Secret. If Epic included ongoing puzzles that players were constantly trying to figure out, it would keep people invested in Fortnite for the long haul. One secret we'd love to know the answer to is what's hiding in the giant bunker near Tiantina's vault. Could it be a T-Rex, other dinosaurs, or possibly King Kong or Godzilla as we've mentioned? Hopefully the answer is revealed at the end of this season. Map Changes Fortnite is due for new map changes. We like the different colored trees, but we want the primal forest to spread out even further. We enjoy the influence of primal hunters in new areas around the map like colossal crops, but now we want them to take over all of the POIs. Yes, barricades have been going up around the map, and we hope that these turn into even more decadent hunting grounds. Each building should be lined with animal skulls and bones, and also overgrown with vines covering the surfaces. Trees should be sticking out from rooftops and windows. Even more dirt roads throughout the map would be a nice addition. Speaking of skulls, why can't Fortnite take on more aspects of Skull Island? We'd love to see dense jungles flourishing everywhere, similar to what already exists in Stealthy Stronghold. This would facilitate the introduction of more animals, and not just more dinosaurs, but even lions, tigers, and bears. Oh my! What kind of map additions would you like to see? Let's take a look at another savior of an idea. Better AI. Fortnite needs better artificial intelligence, plain and simple. Improved AI means a more challenging game, and this can definitely help save Fortnite. Better AI in Season 6 and beyond translates to advanced animal behavior as well as nuanced NPC and boss behavior. Though the animals in the game are fun, the taming concept does not work as well as it should. Wolves and raptors have a difficult time catching up with you as you run onward toward the fight. They will also begin attacking a fellow animal of the same kind as soon as one is tamed and one is not. There needs to be a bit of latency so that you have time to tame the second animal nearby without the first interfering. Also, Epic, why can't we ride raptors yet? 
Mounts are long overdue in our mind, and their introduction could really shake things up. As for the Spire Assassin and Tower Guardians, we're already sick of their shenanigans. We actually had more fun fighting IO Guards in the last season. If the Spire Assassin had additional powers such as replicating phony versions of itself or ground-pounding abilities, that would increase players' interest in them. Gamers of any age could benefit from improved AI on the island. What else could help save Fortnite? We've got answers. Improved gun sights. Have you ever felt that gun sights had a poor design in Fortnite? We're talking about the crosshairs you see in the middle of the screen when you aim your gun. It's easy to get frustrated when trying to aim your gun quickly because you can barely see the crosshairs. Now, some folks have mastered the art of shooting guns in Fortnite simply because they put in hours and hours of training. But come on, give us a red dot sight, some kind of scope, or at least bigger crosshairs. Go play a round of Call of Duty and you'll instantly notice a difference. If Fortnite improves their aiming functions for all guns, it could help save the game. On another note about guns with scopes, bring back sniper rifles. We want sniper rifles back in the game. They were some of the best guns you could use. Maybe they seemed a little too OP for the primal theme, but what the heck, Epic? Bring them back! Sure, we can always hop into Battle Lab and pick up a sniper to pick off the Tower Guardians, but the fun only lasts for so long. We'll agree that taking sniper rifles out of the game significantly cut down on the amount of campers, but just imagine the resurgence and excitement if they made a triumphant return. Trust us, give Lara Croft access to a sniper rifle and you'd better run for cover. How about another Fortnite favorite we miss? Bring back helicopters. Once again, Epic teased us with helicopters in the Zero Crisis event. We thought this may hint at the return of helicopters in the game. What gives? Now we just have vehicles with off-road tires. Though, they are a decent addition to the game, we'll give them that. It seems like bringing back helicopters would be a natural decision and would be sure to rile up the fans. Think of all the challenges that would unfold out of this. Take out a raptor while riding in a helicopter. Land a helicopter on top of the spire. Use a tower launch platform to jump into a flying helicopter. So many options. If helicopters were brought back, they'd have to include Huey and Chinook designs from Skull Island to appropriately fit in with the primal theme. What do you think about bringing back helicopters? Do you miss them? Or were they too much to deal with? Moving on. Better original skins. Fortnite has had an insane amount of crossover skins in the past couple of seasons, which is impressive for one video game to accomplish. However, players have been getting a little overwhelmed with all the crossover skins going on. It'd be a play in Fortnite's favor to release better original skins. Eco was a decent original skin released recently, being composed of different locations from the original Chapter 1 map. We'll also give Cluck the recognition he deserves as a quirky new skin, but we'd love to see original skin creations on the level of Jules, Midas, Sky, Drift, Lynx, and others again, even if their backstories aren't crazy complex. Just give us something cool to keep the game alive. And while the collaboration skins are fun, let's turn them down a notch. Here's another idea to save the game. More game modes. Wouldn't it be great if we could get more game modes in Fortnite, specifically collaborative team-based games? We'd love to be able to play a domination-style game where there are multiple command posts spread out across the map, and it's your team's duty to capture and hold as many as you can. Search and Destroy would also be a super fun game mode in Fortnite, where two teams are tasked with trying to set and dismantle bombs at each other's bases. These matches would get intense and would really give competitive players a reason to stick around playing Fortnite. There could even be a Battle Royale mode where no building was allowed. Building would be turned off altogether, so players would be left duking it out with only weapons and no way to trap or escape others with the option of building. Many players have suggested this game mode before, and it seems that Epic has not made this a reality because building has been a trademark aspect of the game since its inception. But to us, variety is the spice of life, baby. Now on to our last idea. Mining land and tunnels. Was the inspiration for this idea straight from Minecraft? 
Yes, yes it was. We still really want to be able to mine the land and dig tunnels in Fortnite though. How awesome would it be if you could dig tunnels through hillsides on the map? Sure, this might cause problems with camping again, but you always have the trusty storm to force the campers out of their holes. Seeing as how some players have an obsession with constantly building and even testing its limits, you know players would latch onto the idea of digging tunnels. It'd also be an entertaining strategy to wait for someone to pop out of the ground like a mole and then whack! They're sent back to the battle bus. At the very least, it'd be inventive for Epic to allow for more environmental damage to take place in the game. Imagine you shoot the recycler and you miss your opponent. Wouldn't it make sense for the projectile to leave a massive hole in the ground or the side of a hill? Seeing as how just about everything can be destroyed in Fortnite, this new game mechanic could provide even a little fresh element to how battles are fought and won on the island. Well folks, those are all the ideas we've come up with to help save Fortnite from its imminent doom. How long do you think the game will last? We imagine it has the steam and interest to keep going for a couple of years. But if new and favorable ideas aren't continuously introduced, players will start to lose interest. Everyone moves on at some point. So what do you think about our ideas? Would you love to see King Kong and Godzilla fight to the death while crushing the spire? Do you think the animals in the game need an AI enhancement? How about helicopters and snipers? Cyber rifles. Do you guys miss those too? Before we forget, we have to fill you all in on the new pro athlete coming to the game on Wednesday, April 28th. The skin will be Minnesota Vikings wide receiver Justin Jefferson. He is known for his popular gritty dance, which will be featured in the game as the Get Gritty emote. Ready or not, Fortnite's got another crossover skin coming at you. However you feel about it, let us know in the comments section below. While you're at it, give the video a like, and if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, hit that big red button. Make sure to ring that bell so you never miss a video. You can also support us by using code NEWSCAPE PRO in the item shop. This has been NEWSCAPE GAMES, your source for Fortnite news, leaks, ideas, and theories. See you next time!